Hello, I'm an INFP and I'm going to react to INFP stereotypes that people list online. Here we go. All right, this list is from a personality cafe. So number one is uh, crybabies. Uh, why does everyone say that INFPs cry a lot? If you're an INFP and you cry a lot, leave that in the comments. And if you don't write a comment, you make me sad. Next one, emos. Well, it's hard to not be emotional when you have introverted feeling as your first function. But uh, it's a big difference if you can control your emotions or if your emotions control you. So I find that many INFPs learn to deal with strong emotions, uh, like in their teens and in their early adulthood. So I don't think grown-up INFPs are that emotional, at least on the outside. Of course, we are emotional, like we have a big roller coaster going on inside, but it doesn't control us that much. Like we don't do stupid things anymore when we have strong emotions, but rather we, um, we don't identify with these emotions. We just acknowledge that they are there, but uh, they don't drive our car. And next one, suffers from post-traumatic stress syndrome. Why? What? <laughs> Number four, non-logical. Well, making sense is not the point, is it? Uh, next one, romantic. Of course, the stereotype of INFPs is being romantic, but I don't know if it's, if it's because I'm German, but I'm as romantic as a toilet bowl. Number six, accepting of others. I would say big yes. Definitely. I find that accepting people for who they are is one of the biggest freedoms you can give them. And once you act in a way that makes the other person feel that you don't accept them for who they are, their ego strikes and either they desperately try to please you and change their personality, which is not them, or they, they block completely and there's like a friction. So I find just really like just accept people for who they are as long as they're not criminals or whatever. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's a good thing to do. Number seven, dramatic. Uh, I would say <laughs> in younger days, yeah, I think feelers in general can be very dramatic. But I find as, as, you, as you grow and you learn how to control your emotions and deal with them and... Uh, don't think you're the center of the universe anymore. Uh, like that, that, that kind of goes away. And I myself wouldn't think I'm dramatic. I don't like drama as it is. Uh, I don't like to deal with more problems than necessary. So when, when I see that someone is a drama queen and uh, tries to cause trouble just for the sake of causing trouble, I kind of stay away from them. Next one, loners. Really? Let me ask my friends. I don't have any friends. No. Um, yeah, I don't need many people in my life. That's true. I have or I need my few good friends that I can talk about anything and that accept me for who I am and I accept them for who they are. And that's great. And we push each other maybe a bit uh, to be to grow. But I don't need, uh, I, I dislike parties as they are. I don't like huge masses of people. I don't like big city and noisy places. That drains the heck out of me. And I do spend a fair amount of time alone in my room or alone outside. Uh, that is true. Um, loner, yes. Lonely, no. I think that's a good way to put it. Next one. Socially deprived. Nah. Big no. I would make a joke about it, but actually no. I like yeah, I do spend a lot of time alone, but I have my friends that I see regularly and that I stay in contact with regularly. So, no, not socially deprived at all. Next one. Was bullied in school? No. All right, this was the first page of uh, stereotypes about INFPs. Uh, if you know more stereotypes or if you have something to say 
to these stereotypes, if they're true, if they're not true, if they apply to you, if they don't apply to you or your friends. Uh, let me know in the comments. I was happy to read them. And uh, more videos like this coming very soon. I really enjoy making these videos. So that's me. I'm an INFP. If you have questions to an INFP, uh, you can ask me them anytime. And you see me in the next video. See ya.